What's going on, my friends? Let's jump right into this. My name's Dave Sharp, but you already know. Hey, listen, we've got a guest this morning, okay? Do we have a guest this morning who thought, who thought that that first commission, that first big win, that big major result was just luck? And then she found out quickly that it wasn't luck, that what she was doing was huh, taking imperfect action and Oh my God, it worked. It actually worked. What do you know? It worked. These old crazy guys and gals, what we're talking about over here, damn it, it works. Okay, so let's hear it directly from her. Steffi, welcome to the show. Hello, Dave. How are you? It's an honor to be here. Good dude. Did I did I explain your previous mindset correctly? Oh yeah, absolutely. So um uh when I joined Legendary Marketer, I wasn't sure what I, I'm getting myself into. My first commission um uh didn't come in until like a month and a half and it was kind of small, it was 70 cents. But I, I was thrilled because it it, it shows that the it is a proven system and it gave me hope and I was able to continue, keep growing. But when I got my first high commissions, um, I, I thought I was just lucky. I was like, okay, maybe I did something right um, by accident. Um, so you didn't invite me to, to the talk show, but I, I was like, I, I think I need more time for that because I'm still learning the strategy. I'm still going through a blueprint. So, so yeah, so sorry for not saying yes the first time. Making money before you got done with the blueprint. Boom. Yes. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. You know, it's, it's, you don't have to apologize about anything. I mean, I just love when a story is created out of a situation. That's it. I mean, and you know what the beautiful thing is, is that uh, stories can't be created unless we do something, take some sort of action. Inaction creates zero stories. But a lot of marketing and we do is really for the story. And I don't I don't think a lot of us really realize that because we're always looking for the commission. We got our eye on the commission, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a bigger game that's being played. And the bigger game that's being played is sort of like how a baseball team would go into the world series. You know, there's a big plan. We're looking to win the championship here where I feel like a lot of marketers can only see the pitch that's being thrown right now and don't look at the story that it creates and all of the other things that can come from one result. You know, when you tie that one result into the big picture, are you starting to see more of the big picture for your business now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, that that's like so. That's like the same mindset that I have um, when I started this. Right, um, everyone's thinking about the commissions. I also, I was so stuck on the commission, and I, I always explain this in my life. So whenever I go and jog, I try to hit four miles like nonstop, and it's really hard for me because I hate running. Um, I, I I love sprinting more, like short short term sprint. But, um, but, but here's the thing, the, the more I think about like when my, cause I have the Apple watch, like it, it will buzz every time I hit like a mile, the more I got stuck up on like when my, my watch going to buzz, like when I'm going to hit my four miles, the harder I'm going to get there. But instead, if I change my focus to like, um, my footstep, like listening to my music and my breathing, I would get to my four miles, like without even thinking about it. And what I expecting me and 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 that's the best feeling because it just hit you it just reward you and and even better I was able to go for the fifth mile the sixth mile etc and that's the same thing with affiliate marketing the more you think about the commission the harder it's going to come to you the slower you feel it's going to get to you but if you just focus on like going through the process learning um going live providing value and and that's when it's going to change for you. That, that's when you change from like a, a goal mindset to a growth mindset. And that allows you to expand and go even further. So um, that was a so, powerful yeah. analogy about the running. 
That was yeah. magical the way that you brought that up and tied that in. Is that something that you've talked about before? Have you used that analogy before? I mean, that's really, really powerful. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I said that sometimes during my live stream. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, it's always easier to get a new audience than it is to get new material. You know, I say that every time I tell a joke, you know, because my wife's heard the same jokes thousands of times. But when a brand new person hears it, it's like they heard it for the first time. You know, they're like, ah, 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 ah. my wife's like, oh, God, I've heard that 5,000 times. You know what I mean? She's still she's still very, very, uh, very, very polite with me. Um, okay. Laughs at all my jokes. But, yeah. um, you know, it's it's if we can find like the reason why I brought that up is because if we can find a couple of things that are really powerful that we can say and use over and over again, similar to how we repurpose a piece of content, we can also repurpose stories and repurpose analogies. We don't always have to come up with something new to talk about, or we could slightly change it, but tell the same stories and use the same metaphors and use the same analogies. And if you look back to my entire career and all of the things that I talk about on a regular basis, it's all from the same origin story. And it's all, I, I didn't, I haven't lived multiple lives. It's from the same life. It's just putting a little bit of a different spin on it or just bringing that same story or same analogy up just in a different conversation. It can feel different. Are you finding that talk finding things to talk about is 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 actually easier than you thought it was going live i mean some people often say well i'm scared to go live but then if i do go live what do i talk about are you repurposing these analogies and repurposing these stories and finding that you can talk about a lot of the things sort of over and over again and have in both get better yourself at telling them, but also they just continue to work because there's always new people on your live. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, when, whenever I go live, uh, for first off, I want to say thank you to Amy. She inspired me. She goes live twice a day and I'm trying to do that as well. Whenever I go live, I, I do the same thing. I show the same thing. I, I have like basically a structure, um, that it's like in the back of my mind. Um, and sometimes I get the same people and they're like, are you just doing the same thing? And so I just said, yeah, twice a day. And I got, I'm, I'm going through the same thing, but I get, I get different people, different questions. And a lot of time people are new here and, and this is a new introduction to them. So, and then there's no follow up to that. So yeah. And, uh, it, it's, uh, I, I will have like a strategy, um, for my life and, I would just go as if the flow and getting different comments and questions. So I just, um, just go from there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So powerful. Uh, so powerful to know that you can, and you're a, you're a smart, smart girl. I mean, you're in Silicon Valley. You were a manager of a tech startup. So it's not like you couldn't come up with something new to talk about every day and have a, a bright, beautiful new lesson for everybody every day. But the, the, the truth is, even as a highly intelligent former tech manager, startup uh, manager of a startup in Silicon Valley, you know that you don't have to do that. You don't have to wow people with your intelligence on TikTok and come with a new lesson every day. You have to have the same message every day because the same message over time will actually, similar to how Matt talked about in the weekly email, where the email service just kept retargeting. And finally, he was like, fine, I'll give him my money. The same thing happens with us and even with people hopping on our lives. Why do you think I go live? It's a similar conversation, a different face every day. But I never get tired of it because it's slightly different. And I'm, I'm in a different mood every day, but it's the same message. And I hear you saying the same thing in, 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 as, a, as an intelligent person who could probably come up with new content every day. Talk about the fact, talk up, you know, say what comes up for you as I say this. Is that true? Has that been true? That keeping it simple, having the same message, and not always feeling like you need to come up with something new and fantastic um, 
slow and steady and consistent same message wins the race. Is that true for you? Yeah, um, absolutely. So uh, besides that, um, you also got to be like personal um, and be relatable to your audience. Um, I, um, I, I did, I, I was working for tech and f- for my whole life, education, it's, it's my thing. Well, it's funny enough before. So I am originally from Malaysia. My whole family is still in Malaysia. I'm, I'm here by myself because I got sent overseas because I wasn't doing so well in my hometown. Um, and, uh, got to a point that no schools in Malaysia was uh, uh, accepting me. So I came here and I start um, going to like a boarding school, which I love, um, very strict. But that that kind of got me into like the whole education. And I, I have my master's degree as well. But when people come on my life and say, okay, do I need a degree for this? I'm like, no, like the person who's starting this, like it, he, he didn't even finish high school. Um, so people are more relatable to that. Like, um, they, 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 they want to learn, but they were afraid that it's going to be super hard. So when I tell them that, no, I'm learning from someone who was a high school dropped out and they're like, Oh, okay. Like, let me give this a try. So just gotta be relatable. It, you do, you do. Right. And you know, that's something that works to my advantage. You know, it's not something that I manufactured. It's completely real, but I don't hide it. Whereas most people would hide it because I, I realized that it made it just, it's, it's just who I am. First of all, it's just my re- my truth. And then second of all is, yeah, when you start, when you start, you know, when you start listing off all of your your achievements and everything and like everything that like how great you are and how rich you are and kind of all this stuff, like most people not only will be like, oh, this guy's an asshole or maybe they'll have feelings of internal jealousy or whatever. But but but, you know, you're just not even relatable. And a lot of times this is another thing in marketing that I really realized was pain's a lot bigger of a motivator than talking about all the things that somebody could have. You know, somebody's going to act, take action. A, a, they have a better chance of taking action based on something that's painful versus something that's pleasurable that they want to go after. There's things that are pleasurable that all of us could go after that, that we don't. But but if but if something's hurting, physical pain, emotional pain, you know, mental pain, we're gonna act. We're gonna act, and and complacency and lack of pain is is oftentimes a, a big challenge for people because we don't have anything that's motivating us. What's motivating you deep? I mean, what is what is driving you to do this? And then, have you found any new motivations since you've started? Yeah, I, I fully agree with that. Um, when you you're not in pain, we're not when you're in you're not discomfort. You're you're not nothing's going to inspire to go further, right? So, so 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 if I back up a little bit, like th- the reason why I came into Legendary Marketer is that um, I think last year around October. So so yeah, I was working for a tech startup um, and. It is a startup. So the hours was crazy. Sometimes I have meeting ranging from like 7 a.m. And the last one could could last at like my last one. My last meeting could be like 11 p.m. And and I was still working in between. Um, But but I didn't mind it because I thought I was young. And that's what I'm supposed to do anyways. Um, And also at that time, my company promised something that was very important to me. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't really want to get into it, but. Sure. But anyways, I, I, I didn't mind. So that, that's why I didn't mind the grind. I was like, okay, they're yeah. doing, doing me a huge favor. I, I'm not gonna like, uh, I, I don't, I'm not gonna bitch about the crazy hours. And, um, and, but three years later, um, I, I realized that what my company promised me, they didn't end up fulfilling, um, which resulting that I have to stop working for them completely. And that's, that's, that's where I come I feel like, okay, um, that, that happens around October. Um, I was kind of relieved at that time because not working crazy hours and it was close to the holiday season. So I was like very excited for the holiday season. Right. Um, but when January hits, um, everyone was going back 
to their their routine, going back to work. But I was left home doing nothing, and and I felt like a loser. I was、mm. I was pretty upset in like for a full week. I, I think I got into like I was like a minor depression, um, which is very rare to me because I'm, I'm like a very outgoing person. I'm very positive all the time, um, and 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 that's. That's when, in around February, I came across Legendary Marketer, and for some reason, I just felt like something inside me just said that, like, this is it. And I felt so hopeful. And every time when I go to sleep, I couldn't, I couldn't,、um, I, I couldn't sleep. And in, in, because I was just so excited to like start doing things.、Um, that's like that was the motivation.、Um, yeah. From. Um, yeah. So what's driving you now? I mean, now that you're, that was October of 2021. Right, you were, or right, twenty twenty one. So now, so now it's August of twenty twenty two. You're almost a year. You know, in in two、yeah. months, that'll have been your one year anniversary. So what's like? What do you see now? I mean, you're a smart person who could be doing so many things with a master's degree. You are young. You're you have you you have a lot of exposure to what's possible in Silicon Valley and.、Um, What's 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 why are you doing this and what's driving you? Definitely,、um, the whole idea of like additional income streams is is a big factor.、Um, given today's like market, the inflation, the recession, and like the gas prices,、um, I feel like for for it's always like a great idea to have an additional income streams.、Um, I'm I'm still so with digital marketing, it's it's. It's the best side hustle that I've come across so far because we don't need to create products and all those stuff.、We、don't need to do sales and、uh, customer service. So I feel like if you're not if you're not doing this and you're on social media all the time, scrolling through and not monetizing your social media, you're wasting your time. So, and I'm just a normal girl that I I can spend hours on social media. Like I love posting. I love being on it.、Um, uh, Yeah, so it, it's just something in nature of me, and I'm, I'm trying to monetize it,、um, which it, it is working so far. Man, that's a great, that's a really great point that you just said, and、um, a lot of people do like to be on social media, and you know, I can be a big, you know, I can be a big curmudgeon about it because I'm, I'm old, I'm like a grandpa. My, my wife actually, I had a big great like. I haven't grown a beard out in like a couple of years, you know what I mean? And I and I I grew my beard out over the last couple of days, and 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 I had like a like a big gray neck beard, you know. And my my like it was all gray, and I've tried. My wife was like, "You're putting off grandpa vibes right now," and I was like, "Wow." So you know, I'm like an old curmudgeon, so a lot of times I get you know I get kind of I get you know a little bit negative about social media and just I don't know, I just like to complain sometimes too, you know, just about things. I just need something. Complain about, and we all need an enemy. You know what I mean. So social media is kind of like you know Mark Zuckerberg and these guys are trying to kick us off social media, and we got to get back on. And my, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like you、yeah. know, people think that I'm like over here, like like I'm like you know Dick Tracy. Like I'm like man, let's play a game of cat and mouse and try to beat these suckers. You know what I mean? I mean they're making trillions of dollars. Can I get a couple of dollars from this site? You know what I mean? So、yeah. to me, it is also like a game of cat and mouse,、um, yeah. and、uh, and and you know, it's it's really something that、um, that a lot of people do have, but a lot of people have fun with it, you know, with social media. And the fact that you know, you just said that really, you know, really, really.、Uh, I think a, is really relatable because it's like if you're not if you're going to be on it all, and and a lot of us when we pull up that screen time I mean and that that big old number pops up we're just like holy shit I've been on this freaking screen that many hours this week it's like holy I'm gonna have brain cancer or something you know what I mean yeah, but, I got、um, reminder sometimes and I hate it I was like why are you reminding me how much time I'm on my screen I, mean, I know I monetize it. 
but here's the thing is like one of the things that I've worked a lot on in my in my personal life is like shame reduction, you know, like anything that makes me feel sh like bad, a ba like so like a lot of times we should ourselves to death, like I should be doing this or I should be doing that. That would be an example, like cutting like all yeah. that out and just being in the moment and just but not regretting and shaming myself or shaming others or whatever. And, um, and so, yes, I love how you turned the social media, which in many ways, a lot of us, including me have been conflicted over the last 10 years. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it good for my kids? How much screen time? Oh shit. I'm making a lot of money off of it. And it's just this kind of crazy roller coaster. but you're clear that you enjoy posting. You like it. That's cool. I think we all do. It's just all the I think it's just all the like the the toxicity that we don't like, but the general posting and just interacting and sharing our lives is fun. And your philosophy is if I'm going to be doing that anyways, I might as well be monetizing it. Yeah, absolutely. And and it, it's also it's also important to draw a line because there's just so much things on social media that you can scroll forever and especially the the social media algorithm they learn what you like like if i start like getting um content about like cars or like games which i have zero interest like i i could put away my phone even faster i can go to bed even faster or maybe read a book but so they they know what you like and they try to feed you those content that you like um yeah. so i i always try to like well in the beginning i i got lost like i could spend like hours two hours in there and and i just never stopped um but but i just like turn on uh like sleep mode on my phone like i set it up like when they start reminding me to sleep or like when i'm supposed to like stop using my phone then i just like it's, it's a gentle reminder on my phone so yeah. it's not like you shut off everything so once it yeah. reminds me and if i can get off then i would just uh yeah put it away and start reading something yeah it, it, yeah. yeah, it's important to draw a line, and especially when you're like with your family, um, your yeah. friends, um, uh, just make sure that you're not with your phone all the time or like looking at the screen. It's so, hard though, isn't it? like especially when you have a business going on and you're and you're yeah. looking for you know email notifications and commission notifications, and if that video is still going viral and all this kind of stuff, it's like it's hard yeah. not to look. Yep, yeah, that happened. I think two days ago. Yeah. Or yeah, no Sunday actually. I was hang, having brunch with my friends. Everyone was talking, and I was just on my phone, like um, looking through new, new ideas, TikTok, and um, just also checking my emails for commissions coming in. Um, I would, and I caught myself. I'm just like I'm not participating in this group fun. So yeah. Well, I mean, coming from the tech world and just knowing, you know, what you know about apps and how they're made and how they're made to, I mean, these apps are really made, to, like you said, to be addicting to people. And, um, you know, the, the cool thing is, is that, is that they're going to exist regardless of whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and so, you know, how can I get in on a little bit of that action and, and, and use, and, you know, for me, it makes me feel good that my message is positive. You know what I mean? That my message is helpful, um, valuable, at least to me and to, 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 to at least some others. Right. Um, so, you know, um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's the perfect partner, you know, to, to, and, and it's, it's really, it's really, and I mean, social media, they're the perfect partner because, you know, they're really, really, even though they, you know, even though they say we're connecting the world, it's like, man, they're building apps that keep people on those things. I mean, that's, that's just, and they are masters at that. Right. So it's, it's kind of, it's kind of nice that I get to post my content on that app. That's already got all of those things kind of built in to it, you know, I don't have to. And that's what I think a lot of us underestimate is that we have a lot of leverage that people in the past didn't have. You couldn't just hop on NBC and just run your video. You couldn't hop on Fox or TNT or whatever your local radio station was and just post your video and have them push it out to their audience. So the, the times are different and how, what would you say to, you know, to people who are, who are young? I also don't want 
uh, you know, older people to feel excluded, but you're smart enough to be able to talk to everybody. What would you say to people to, to that, that are maybe not quite seeing the opportunity that you see and are, are, you know, allowing something that's, that's, that I, I don't want to say that they shouldn't, but that is, is in, insignificant in the bigger scheme of things, hold them back. Like maybe a critical friend or family member or some sort of, uh, a limiting belief inside of their mind. They're letting that hold them back or maybe some fear, right? Fear of going on video, fear of what people are going to say. What, what would you say now being on the other side, almost a year into it, what would you say to those people who were, who are in that spot right now on that fence? Yeah. Um, so, so I get that a lot too. Like, um, people were like having doubts or having a lot of questions. Um, even on my live stream, it was like people would straight up say, this is MLM, this is a pyramid scheme, this is a scam. And I, I think the only thing that I would say whenever that comes up is that, um, so, so it is the online world. And unfortunately there are a lot of scams or like cyber bullies, like hackers, they are out there because they know they can get away of it. And indeed they can get away of it. Um, yeah. That's why people are doing it. But, yeah. but they are getting away with it every day. Yeah. yeah. But, but you as a person, when you come across someone who claim, Hey, I make money online, like, uh, or like I'm six figures, etc. Like as a person, if, if you come across that, it's very important to do your own research. That that's all I'm gonna ask. Like, do your own research before getting in yourself into anything. I I did my research before um, trying out any uh, like legendary marketer. I I think I spent two weeks to like look into it. Um, and yeah, that that's the advice I would give. Um, because you don't want that to be. You don't want your limiting belief to stop you from getting something that could potential like change your situation, change your life, right? But whenever you have that thought, like all you have to do is to like spend time, do your research to, to see if this is, to, to verify it before saying, okay, this is scam, scroll away. Like, because you're not, it's you're not. Even, it's hard to even verify things nowadays because, you know, um, every single blog article out there is, some article that some person like you or me posted it's their opinion and it's so it's hard to you know it's one of the reasons why i do this show every day oh, yeah. and did we did we talk about did did i tell you or give you any prep or did we even talk before we went live about what you should say or what i'm going to ask you no no i actually came on and said some dumb dad joke and then we went live right you did yeah yeah that was barely funny, but I thought it was funny. And I'm the funniest guy I know, so that's all that matters. Learn to entertain yourself and you'll be happy forever. But the point here is, is that we do these shows transparent and live every day because what, 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 my, you know, what my advice and what I really realized in life after hearing people talk about other people, and I believed them. But then when I went and met the person that they were talking about, it didn't match because I formed my own opinion after being with and listening to the person. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we go live every day is because there's not another guru out there. There's not another educator or marketer that I know of that's talking to their clients every single day five days a week, you know, in an authentic way. And so it's hard for people nowadays to know what's real or what's not. I got people right now that are on Instagram posing as me selling crypto crap. I mean, it's, it's, I got people in our Facebook group. This is their whole business model is come in and try to recruit people out of our Facebook group to join their zoo, their silly Zoom family, to go hang out on Zooms, to come back and try to get more people out of our Facebook group. So, I mean, there's crap going on all over, all the time. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, the reason why we do this show every day is so people can actually, and it's amazing. People will listen to a thousand other people 
instead of just going and talking to the person or listening to the person. And that just, that boggles my mind. And I, li seriously, I grew up around people and I can always remember people gossiping and talking about people. It's just something that people do. But I can always remember when I would meet the person, I would have a different opinion. Whether it was good or bad, I'd have a different opinion than what those other people thought. And that was so freeing to me to realize that I... I didn't have to build my friend circle or whatever based off of what my mother thought or what my father thought or what this person over here thought. What comes up for you as I say that? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like everyone has a different story about like uh, about person. And whenever you hear someone talk about that one person, um, you would only hear it's like a telephone game. Um, yeah, where each person adds something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it is. It yeah, is. everyone has a different way to tell a story about like what happened to a person. So like until you you meet that person yourself, then you you have a different you form your whole mindset about that person um, different yeah. than others. But you're you're right. I mean, you got to make yourself feel comfortable nowadays. You got to do whatever feels good and makes sense to you. It's it's hard, but um. I also think there's that, that, that we're not dumb. I think that we have built in bullshit detectors. And I think if we really listen to our gut, you know what I mean? Like, like if you think back to everything that, that, you know, went wrong and you, and you think back to your stomach <laughs> before that happened, you had a feeling in your gut, you know what I mean? It, it, yeah. it all, all of us and, and women more so than me, my wife's intuition and her gut blows me. I'm like, how did you know I was about to do some shit? Like she knows about some stuff before I even do it. I'm like, girl, but seriously, the gut is also a powerful in, you know, it's an indicator of whether something is bullshit or not. That's a technical professional term, but do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. That bullshit detector it's it's what keep you safe too. Just like sure. when when you feel like things are going wrong, um, you know it. And when you feel like this person is sketchy, um, you don't want to go near them, you know it. Um, that that's what keeps you safe. Um, and we're not some sometimes, yeah. Sometimes people will say that you're being racist, and I was like, no. Like obviously you 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 can sense it. Like when it's not when you're not. Um, when that it's not the right person and not, not the right environment that you want to get into, like just go yeah. away. I mean, and I have gotten that I've now learned to listen to that. Uh, in every, I mean, if I think back every single time that something went wrong, it, I had a gut feeling. I was like, I shouldn't be giving this person money. I, I, I shouldn't be, you know, I mean, like, and I want to ask all of you, because I know there's so many of you who are likely new just listening in this morning that, if, that, that, that there's two rules that I'd really, I'd really offer you. Number one is do what you do, what you need to do publicly. Don't do it privately. Don't let people isolate you in private message, especially if you're new. Don't let people sneak and slide into your DMs and romanticize you that that you know what you're doing is wrong and they're your savior that's the number one you're a you're 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 nothing but a target to to somebody like that that you're a target to them um and so i recently had you know that happened yesterday to to one of our clients here where somebody posed as me and was private messaging her i guess and talking about something crypto related where she ended up sending the person money i guess um so you know, you really, really have to stay out of the DMs, people. You know, we have a tendency, we have a tendency to 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 be listening, but then we want to go over and we want to ask the person, hey, can you can I get it better from you? Or do you have a deal? Do you know anybody? We always the little side conversations and side deals. We think that's the better way to do it. And mm -hmm. so we'll to the DM conversations with these people to get the, the real truth. And guess what? They're, they're, they're sitting there waiting on you to do that. That's You're a perfect target for them now to manipulate and sell some bullshit mentorship service that you don't need. You don't need a mentor. 
people. You don't need a you don't need a coach. You don't. You don't. You don't. I mean, it, it's just it's, here's the alt. You know, how many people out here? How many of you think I'm your mentor? Well, guess what? I don't want to be your mentor. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to be your coach. I just want to be a guy who creates courses and teaches shit online, and then you can learn it. But I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. My ego doesn't need that. You see, my ego doesn't need that. It wants yeah. it. Oh, I'm thou a mentor to thousands of people. Come on. You know, so that's the the thing number one is stay out of the DMs. People just want to isolate us. And um and and uh there was another one that I was going to to say. Um, but probably the gut feeling, you know, just yeah. the gut feeling. If you get a if you get a if you get a bad gut feeling about something or someone, then listen to it. Don't let your greed be the more dominant emotion than your discipline and your yeah. restraint. What yeah. comes up for you as I say that? It's funny you talk about the whole DM thing. Actually, like before, um, be yeah, I, I got those one time and I was so gullible because um, I think I got those twice and I, I believe in them twice. The first time um, the person was like, yeah, crypto stuff, same thing. And um, she or he, they even convinced me to like download this app, um, send money like a hundred bucks or something to to this account. Um, but for some reason, my, I actually did the whole thing. Like I went through it, I was about to do it, but uh, my bank was, wasn't just going through. So I, I feel like I'm pretty aware of those stuff. Um, but when you first got, I, I'm like aware of scams and stuff. Um, yeah. online but when, but when you're, you're new it's yeah, yes yeah you, you there there's different ways of scamming uh it, it's so crazy and i think the the smart one that i received um uh not uh, not too long ago is that i get a text message saying that oh my my package delivery it's lost click this link oh, to update God. your shipping address and I, I did click it um but my apple has like a protection wall say hey, this might be a a, a fraud or uh, you don't want to go on this website basically. So I, I stop it. But at, it, cause at that time I did place some orders on Amazon or some other clothing company. So, so I was worried that my, my stuff is not going to arrive. That's why I like click on it. So there's so many ways to do it. Um, you just got to watch out for it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah I mean, it's, it's, you know, we're, we're real clear about what we sell. What we sell is on the front of our website. You know, it's all public information. Um, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's transparent. Everything that I say and do is public here. Every conversation that I have is recorded with clients. Why? For your safety, for your protection. So, our clients are safe and protected people. This is what a lot of us aren't thinking about when we get into this industry is we're when you go and give some dude in D, the DMs, that's like walking down a dark dungeon with a dragon. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're sending your money to. Nothing's recorded. There's no accountability. There's mm -hmm. no proof. Yeah. So at Legendary Marketer, what is the high school dropout bunch of, you know, hoodlums doing? Well, damn it, we're doing things right over here. We're protecting people and keeping people safe and doing right by them and treating people the same way that you'd want your mother treated, which is providing people, you know, protection and accountability and transparency. And that is oftentimes something that's very much so undervalued and it's 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 just it's ignored. It's not valued in this industry until, until you get your head slapped, right? Mm -hmm. for, 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 you know, five grand, you wired it off and, you know, your mentor disappears. <laughs> you know what I mean? He deletes yeah. his Facebook profile. Yeah. Because blocks I, <laughs> yeah. I later on, I found out that it was not real. Um, I think someone... I, I got my second scams. I, I said I had two. The second one was uh, someone who, who was impersonate uh, 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 a, a person who's very successful um, on Legendary Marketer. Um, 
uh, that person DM me and say like crypto stuff. And later on, when I go back to the DM, it disappeared. Like this per account no longer exists. So mm -hmm. it just yeah. poof, it just gone. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a great point. Like even somebody who is posing as a, you know, another, another marketer that you have heard of it. it so it's not, mm -hmm. you know, and that's even slimier and, and more deceitful because it's like, I'm not going to pose as Dave or somebody that may be a, a bit more well-known by, uh, let me pose as somebody who, you know, probably most people would know, but it's just, man, people are, um, and you're right. Everybody has a better program, Sandy. Thank you. Get a mentor. Blah, blah, <laughs> blah, right? It's like, no, it, it, you know, the thing is, is that, um, is that we're too gullible. That's just it. We got to get less naive. We got to get less naive. And, and that's not anything we should feel guilt or shame about. But in order to survive as an entrepreneur, you have to know if there's a snake in the grass. You just need to be able to look out for that. And, 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 and you need to know how to prevent that. Keep your grass cut short. And that's one thing that we try to do around here at Legendary. We try to keep our grass cut short, right? So the snakes are easily seen. We, you know, when people are you know, sending messages to people. We tell them, send them to us, send them to support at legendarymarketer.com, DM them to me, What send them to Abigail, like, like let us know what's happening so we can try to address them. Um, yeah. 15 impersonators says Shauna. It's, it's, it's nuts. And there's a real value to me in being connected to things that are quality and valuable and that are doing the right thing. And what I've also found is that when you do the right thing, when nobody's looking, you make a lot more money for a lot more years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I definitely want to bring back the point. Um, yes, don't don't be naive, don't be gull gullible, but trust, trust but ver verified. Because yes. you, you don't want to miss out those opportunity, like legendary marketer, when it's legit. Um, so sure. do your own research, um, get on the call with people who, who claim that say, okay, like show me proof, show me result. And if that person not able to answer you or like not responding to you run, like you don't need to like, con like be in conversation with that person no more. You would know this is a scam and just no contact. That's it. Well, I think, I think a lot of us feel the need to respond. And that comes yeah. from, you know, like a bit of I'm new, like, who are you? Who's, oh, is this a friend? Like, we, we're just, when we're new, we're trying to figure things out. And and so when we have people DMing us and stuff. But the, the thing I think that's important is to quickly turn that around and become the hunted for other reasons, right? Don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't stay in that new position where you're, getting hunted by other people and right get go out there and market and and create content and and get value out there so now you have people hunting you who want to buy <laughs> you know hunting you who want your link hunting you who have questions you know and then these other these other kind of you know annoyances that may feel like a big deal at the beginning will start to become a lot less of a big deal because you'll be over here serving your actual clients and you'll be making money and you'll know more what's real and what's not and then you'll have new challenges like you know when there's another opportunity what do you do you say do you stay focused or do you now do you now you know you know totally go over here and and and, and kind of redirect the ship over here you have other choices of whether you want to participate in other promotions or promoting other products or building new campaigns new challenges and new things will pop up um even though at the beginning it may feel like oh i'm new or i'm overwhelmed and then i got people trying to sell me extra stuff just take all that in and, and up your street smarts a little bit about how the game is played and how people operate on the internet because this digital world is where we're, we're moving. I mean, whether the metaverse is where we're all going to be diving into next or what, you know that more than I do. You got the ear to Silicon Valley. I don't know. Are we all going to be cartoon characters here, you know, sitting around? Hey, Steffi, how you doing over there? You know, we're sitting in our metaverse. I, I don't know. I don't care. But what I do know is 
is that that sort of stuff that was a big deal to me at the beginning within a couple of months was no longer a big deal and something else was was the new deal right mm -hmm. and that's how it works when you continue to take action so comment on that or leave us with something that we can take with us uh that you would like us to know about yourself about this journey about what's possible um, or anything else that you'd like to share uh, as we close yeah so so i i do want to say that like you like everyone like you should be impressed that you're you're doing this um you should be impressed uh, that, that you're doing this and because most people they're not they don't even have to get to do this in the first place you are um in, out there in the vulnerable position that you you putting yourself in a position that you can be laughed at you can be bullied at and i get that a lot like when i go on live stream like people would sometimes i get trolls and i i don't mind them because because I am creating new life experiences for myself. And, and you, when you do that, you will reap so much more out of life. And for people who are on the other side, just scrolling through social media endlessly, not taking action, um, leaving bad comments on people's posts, like trolling, those people, they're not creating new life experiences. And, um, and as J.K. Rowling said, like that is the example, the definition of being having failed to li live. Um, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, and, and just like continue to do what you're doing. Um, the, it is a proven method, proven system. So just, uh, just keep going. Well, you, you keep going too, because success is looking wonderful on you. And I love, uh, I'd, I'd love to talk to you. I've loved to hear your analogies and your experience and thanks for bringing your brain from what you were doing over there in Silicon Valley and sharing a little bit of it with, with us here. It's been really refreshing. No problem. Anytime. Yes. All right. We'll talk to you later. Come back and see us. We'll do a round two. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much for your time. All right. We'll talk to you later, Steffi. All right, my friends, there you go. You see it, you have it, you heard it and you'll hear it again, right? You'll keep hearing it. Okay. Because that's what we do here is we just bring, um, another wonderful guest each and every morning, just like Steffi this morning. So make sure you go follow her, learn from her, um, support her, lift her up. Uh, she's got a couple of uh, different accounts on TikTok and also Instagram. But if you go to boss.lady.steff, uh, you can connect with her and go from there. All right, my friends, powerful, powerful, powerful way to start the day this Tuesday. August 23rd, 2022. Um, wow, wow, wow. Okay. We're going to be letting you all know about a huge announcement. Um, I think we're probably going to maybe email that out, post something, make a bunch of noise here pretty soon, but it's pretty cool. Um, but right now, you know what, what's important is to take in what, um, what was talked about this morning. There were so many powerful nuggets so much to think about, even to go back and re-listen to. This was one of those episodes. There was a lot of nuggets that uh, if you go back and listen to, I I'm sure you'll pick something up that you didn't hear the first time through. Regardless, be legendary. Get out of here. Make today absolutely um, impactful. Do something important. Check off a big uh, thing off the top of your to-do list, that most important item. Not all that crap down at the bottom. That most important item. Go right for that. We'll see you back here tomorrow for another episode. Peace.